but I'm in Wales, so it's bound to rain here. I just parked up into the Gouda Forest, which is near Betty Code. I'm just waiting for the rain to ease. It's not going to rain continuously all day, so hopefully it will pass in a bit and I'll be able to go out and explore the forest here. Um, there is some autumn colours here. I don't think it's quite peach yet. Um, I think we yeah, had such a warm, dry summer and it's been very mild this October. Um, back where we're living in Essex, it reached 20 degrees centigrade at the end of October, which is a bit unusual. So I think that's delayed the autumn colours um, really coming out. Although I don't think they're going to be as vibrant this year um, due to the, the stress the trees had during the summer, that long dry period. Anyway, I'm going to wait for the rain and um, we're going to explore and try and get some, probably some moody shots in the forest here on a grey, rainy day. An amazing forest. Obviously a lot of pine trees, but there are other trees dotted around, uh, oaks, silver birches. So you do get some colour here uh, with the golden brown bracken. And see the birches, the leaves there are just starting to turn yellow. So I'm heading up to um, a lake or in, in Wales, Hlin, if I pronounced that correctly. Uh, see if I can get any shots there. Uh, looking across the other side of the trees in awesome colour. Now I'm going to walk around and um, there's a path which goes through the forest, um, which I've been here before. And it's, uh, it's off the track and it's, it's kind of a magical path. When you do get good lights, you, you can get some really nice shots there. So there is some light here, the sky's clearing. So let's see what we can do. see the lake behind me. Um, I'm not sure the name, I'll put that up on screen. <laughs> it's Hlin something, um, but it's right in the heart of the Gwida Forest, uh, north of Betsy Code. Uh, so I've just come to the shore here, a uh, little track led right to the shore. So I'm gonna see if I can get a photo looking back behind me there. There may be some canoe stand now, I'm not sure, or it's just a, a, a buoy floating in the water. As you can see, the skies are cleared now, so I've got some blue sky, so I've got some light to work with. So I'm going to see what shots I can make. I just set up my camera here, it's a simple composition. Just looking towards the end of the lake there. Um, I like the reeds down below. Uh, that really gives some nice, some nice details there. And you've got a bit of reflection there. It's fairly calm actually, so i was just taking a straightforward shot. Focused about a third way in. Um, I shouldn't need to focus that. Uh, I've used the polarizer just to bring out the colors a bit. I may try a long exposure um, just to see what that looks.
just sheltering underneath this tree here. Uh, just waiting for the rain to ease. There is some blue sky back there. Um, for anyone who lives in Wales, you no doubt heard of Ferry Glen uh, near Betsy Coed. I had to rush back to the car, the rain really started to fall, so I just got back. Yeah, it's a great place that. Um, I've been here before, um, but it was worth a visit again. It's only a short walk from the car park, so changing in conditions, whether the light coming into the gorge is, is always worth returning. Um, you're bound to get something a bit different. But yeah, the water's really gushing through, as you've probably seen in the video. Um, so with the long exposure that really did smooth it out but there wasn't a lot of light getting into the gorge so <clears throat> it was always going to be a long exposure of some degree there um, but I did get some light and I did see some light rays coming in um, and I got some shots there so yeah it's really a rush job there um, I was lucky to be there but for about 10 minutes in between the rain showers uh, we did see a bit of blue sky coming over, so yes, I've got some light coming in. So we'll see if those photos turned out. But I'm going to head down to Betsy Code, have a wander there, look around the shops, get some lunch, and um, then make my, my way back to base. And I've got my long lens uh, in the passenger seat here, so I can also do some roadside photography on the way back if there's any light on the mountains or any changing weather conditions uh, presents a good photo opportunity. forecast today was light rain showers. It's been raining on and off all day I'd say and it's been heavy in places so it's kind of what you expect for Wales in November. But I've been driving around, um, I left Betsy Coed, headed towards Capel Keurig and um, towards my right there that's the Snowdon range. Um, tomorrow I'm hoping to head to Clamberis and explore the Dinorwegian mine. I think that's going to be a dry day tomorrow. So that's, that's promising. Um, yeah, but today I've been driving from the road back down to um, Paul from the Dog. It's a strange name, isn't it? Paul from the Dog. Um, but stopping off wherever I can um, and grabbing a quick shot on the long winds. Um, when you've got the clouds running o rolling over, you know, the rain clouds, you get mist appearing uh, by the mountains and, and the, the trees at the top of the mountains there. So it's quite atmospheric and I've got a few shots there on the way down and one of Snowden looking back um, along the road there. 
very moody skies here. But yeah, I'm going to continue down and see if I can grab any more shots from the long lens. Yeah, it's definitely a case of roadside photography today, uh, especially when it's wet like this. Yeah, it's good fun though. It's a bit windy out there. Make sure that's in focus. Uh, just driving back from Betsy Coed. I just happened to catch sight of the light on top of the mountain range over there. It was glowing. So I quickly pulled over. I'm lucky to find this parking space. I just um, got my long lens. Um, handheld 400 ISO uh, F8 uh, optical stabilization on, IBIS on. So. Hopefully um, they were sharp, but um, yeah, I just took a series of panoramas, uh, horizontal, going across the scene there, and a couple of zoomed in, and literally a few minutes later the light went, so I was very fortunate to just be passing um, when the light hit the top of the mountain range there. But yeah, it's this very blustery day, windy, uh, the rain's just coming and going, um, Typical wows already in the autumn, so <laughs> it's kind of what you expect. It's still raining. It has briefly stopped, um, maybe 10 minutes here and there. But it's been pretty constant all day. But I've just been stopping up when I can, um, whenever there's a break in the sky. Um, but as often is the case after rain and stormy weather, uh, when you do get the light following that, you can get some really uh, dramatic photos. Um, Especially when you get a dark moody sky and bright sky on the opposite side. Um, I just stopped off here. It's just a, a passing road. It cuts across the mountains. Um, I think going to Festiniog. But yeah, it's very remote, uh, very barren, uh, bleak I guess. Um, but it's a good opportunity for some photos here. And then just down the road um, there's a nice curving road so you've got a nice S bend in the road you've got an old um, sort of black farm hut on, on the hill there there was a sheep up there and um, for maybe 10 minutes I was here I was taking photos and I could see that sheep in the distance 
staring at me. It did not move, it just stared at me for about 10 minutes whilst I was taking photos. Yes, it's very, <laughs> it's a bit bizarre. I did get a photo and some video, um, and as I was leaving it, it was still staring at me. Yeah, as they say, what are you doing here? You're not Welsh, go back to England. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's my next to last day. Tomorrow I'm going to go to Dinorwick Mine. It's going to be a dry day. So I can have a good look around there. Uh, but that's it for today. I'm going to head back and get some shelter and some food. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Thank you.